be a top level Jigglypuff. That's just the reality of the situation. Oh! Living! Living from up throw rest, even after like an aerial actually. That's a really good DI from Skurzo. Okay, got a DI way, but then they they DI and Titan the same way, so that's like a really, really common setup. True. But typically that's very good against Jigglypuff. Like DI away, tech away. It is. It's, she's just she's just slow. She's slow. Just like hard, hard commit. And even there it was like a It didn't actually hurt that much, right? Yeah. So yeah. great point. The drills have been crazy. Yeah, you pointed that out in the previous set. A lot of good drills from, from Faust said. I always think that people should SDI that move and then it doesn't really happen and like I can't tell if it's just like harder to SDI or we all just like kind of suck and then someone will start doing it and we'll be like, you gotta SDI it and then it just becomes like the norm. Yeah. Because like Marth's weren't hitting up throw up air SDI for a while and then Zane was kind of like, you gotta do it. Uh, I wonder if it's like the same kind of uh, property where, you know, it's like really hard to jab, to SDI Puff's jab reset because it's just like so weak. I wonder if like Puff's down air is kind of like that. I have I'm no just, idea. I'm just like, that's the thing. No you think if it's a multi hit, you'd just be able to kind of yeah. like tap the stick, maybe do some like even just ASDI, but. Oh, okay. Puffs have been getting consistently. Hey, jab up smash. Jab is so good versus Puff. Catching like an aerial that's based crazy. Puff, or catching Puff in the air rather, is so good with Jab. It's not so much. If oh. Jab were a condiment, it would be like salt or something. Like it's like yeah. in literally everything. Combos well into everything. Just an essential part of, uh, you know, spice. Yeah. You need it. Weird. Really weird. So far pretty good. Pretty, pretty back and forth. No one really pulling too far ahead here. Jab, but doesn't confirm off the jab that time. Yeah. Confirm off the jab. I like how we talked about jab and this Grudo jab four times in a row. <laughs> it's like, especially at that percent, because the risk to reward is so skewed for you. The only thing you can do is if you're Puff, if you really think that they're going to jab, you can CC it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so yeah. this is the thing, though. It's one of those, like, kind of like a losing situation because, yes, of course, if you CC, you could get something like a grab. But if they do literally anything else, you're not going to CC it and you're going to die. Yeah. So you got to respect it. As a Puff, you got to know when to kind of drop that in there. But it's, it's not that easy oh. at all. Is that just it? Oh, my god. The little delay, too, after the dash attack. The timing to catch the Puff drift with the up air. Ooh, I like that jumping up. in the dare. Yeah. Oh. oh, second time we've seen that up be used offensively like that. Yeah, that should, that should be it. Need a really strong rest here without taking much percent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Like, no. We like no. It's just like one of those moments where it's like tight That's battle. Great. You gotta figure out a way to turn this around and then just fuck. I mean, the momentum is still. Oh God. I'm scared now. I don't know what to say. That was like a commentary curse all timer. Like just, yeah. Oh God. Oh God. No. Oh, that should have been it. Yeah. Dude, dash attack on shield. You're crazy. You're actually crazy. Okay. Oh, great CC though. Yeah, see, so seeing the the up air there. It's really good. Oh, this no jab reset. Good ledge dash. Ish. Uh, yeah. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Stop. I mean, it's just to delay the fall, right? That's why you're doing yeah. the up B there. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Jab up smash, I think KOs. Now in the corner. Jab up smash, I think, I think KOs. Up throw up air will probably KO. Oh god. Certainly KOs now. Roll away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Rob smash. Oh, Those don't fall KO. into the. Don't do this. This is really. Up air. Yeah, okay, that's it. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> That is such a tense battle. That SD was like... But still pulled it together. Still pulled it together. After that, that's nerves of steel. That SD was like the... Uh, that's, what you, that's what you like to see. When someone yeah. goes down yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. they still like keep their composure and they still make it happen. Scurzo planned that, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was a test. Yeah. It was a self-test. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Your Same. grab is my grab. I yeah. thought that was like a very unique setup from, from Scruzzo. Oh no. Hugging it out there. Oh my no. Up air? Okay, yeah. Not, not a true combo. Man, these drills have been very interesting. I I want to see like the, the plan come into fruition. You know? Because it seems like it's on purpose. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that was something that was a big part of the best, uh, spark set. But 
I mean, I mean from Scurzo's head. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry, there, yeah. Like a couple, but even even for Faust as well. But there, there seemed like some kind of aggressive drills from coming from high and coming down low, almost like multi-hit comboing on the way down, like drag downs almost. Okay, yeah. And then trying to combo off that. I don't think it's true, but it's like an interesting mix-up. See, like there, it feels like it's on purpose. That was sick. I think some of it though is also Faust trying to get like drag down intentionally to be actionable first. Not every time though. Yeah. That's the thing. Is sometimes it looks like, yeah. Interesting call out for sure. Yeah, right, yeah. Off the top as well, so the star KO not gonna let you get a punish. What that looked like to me was uh, thinking, okay, they're gonna rest. No, never mind. Faust is not gonna rest. Never mind. They are resting. You know, like it's it's just. Uh... Oh, okay. No, no reaction tech chase the rest there. Even with the tech in place, which is the one you're really kind of like waiting for. Yes. Can be difficult. You're kind of like anticipating the rolls and all these other options as well. Okay. Okay, just keeping center stage. Opting to go for lasers. Doesn't want to build too much more laser damage though, because then you take away up throw up air. Yeah, we're, we're definitely on the cusp of it being offline. Yeah. Like it is like neck and neck, maybe one or two more percent. It's certainly an offline now. Right, so now you have to go for like up airs, jab up smash, or build percent into back airs. Yeah. Yeah, even with bad DI, back air is still not going to quite KO. Up tilt is actually a pretty strong option a lot of the time. True. Um, not something that's going to link off of like a jab, but like everyone knows up tilt is kind of like a hard move to deal with. Absolutely. Sometimes you can just kind of like run in. Wave dash back up tilt and it can it would certainly kill right now. Oh my god. Really wow. nice. Really nice. Yeah. Really cool. Using the the shine to fall off with the momentum like that and then using that momentum in the back air. Scurzo definitely yeah. planned the SD. You know, they're <laughs> <laughs> ahead of us all. There's a drill again. That's the thing, and I think I think Faust is trying to like catch that, okay? Yeah. Really good mix up there. The pound versus up air. Right. Okay, you got a set. It's nice to see. Uh, so, I said this earlier that like I like seeing a, a different kind of puff. What I mean by that is like some puffs that kind of have like really done well have kind of succeeded by just like hard, hard camping, and and then you have um, only really H box to compare that to, and a bit of two saint. Nice rest as well. And I feel like Faust is like a good mix where it's like, it's not like Faust is just ground the ledge or like kind of air planking, but still playing defensive where you need to. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. You got to mix in a couple of these styles so that it's like not much, obvious yeah. exactly oh. what you're going to be doing at any one given moment. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's a tough spot. Randall might help a little bit, but no, not quite, not quite. Good edge guard for Faust. Def definitely. Absolutely. Scurzo plays so aggressive. I mean, like, there's been so many situations where it felt like Scurzo just got, like, grabbed out of aerials, you know? Yes. And sometimes I think against Puff, like, really get back a little bit can be yeah. good. It can be necessary, right? Like, this is a trade, but this is, like, oh, no, oh my god, that wasn't a trade? Facing the wrong way, unfortunately. But you got to play true to your play style. Oh my god, I thought it was going to be another grab at the rest. I'm a big believer that this stage is actually pretty okay for Puff. It's not bad. So I, I, I also just kind of like often question the counter pick when Foxes go here. Because you have FD, you have Stadium, you have like so much more available to you. And uh, I think we're kind of seeing a bit of why that happens is that you can get edge guards really easily. The platform reaction tech, tech chase rests are quite easy. The platforms are small. Right. So. I don't know, like you need the early kills, but you can still get those in Stadium. Yeah, I mean, you're still, Fox up smash, still KOs, really, so early, oh my god, Scrooge crazy. Yeah. Even down, going on to Randall like that. I respect it. <laughs> Not changing the game plan, I like it. Going turbo, no matter what. Oh god. Oh, missing the ledge dash there. Okay. I think that's a very good point. Not changing the game plan, even if you're down, like, just kind of like still being aggressive. Obviously, sometimes you do want to rein in if you're being yeah. too too risky. But like we were talking about that with Mango, where like Mango will still go for some kind of like all or nothing moments, uh, just because you got to do that to keep your opponent respecting it. And I think Puff is a character that like if you disrespect Fox, you can take like a couple back airs into an up smash and die. So yeah. I think Puff might be the one character where you kind of want to reel it in a little bit. Yes, you do. Or like. Do fast, fast, fast pressure, stop. Fast, fast, fast pressure, stop. Yes. You know, things like that. 
Let's we'll see how the out. stadium game goes. Swaps out to stadium. I think that's the right call. Having a little bit more space here is nice. It feels like, okay, with a lot of other foxes, I feel like there's game plans that they have versus the Jigglypuff at percents. They know they're like KO options. They know what they're going for. It feels like with Scurzo, he's a very, very strong player that's just playing off the dome. Like, yeah. just playing off of like, I think this is going to work in this position and like not necessarily having like a, a fully formed game plan at every single percent. And you think that that's, that's vibe, bad in this situation to I think player, right? it has its strengths and weaknesses, right? I think there's... Like in situations like that, it's like, oh my god, yeah, that's amazing that you went for something like that. But sometimes it feels like you got grabbed out of your aerial. Maybe you shouldn't have been doing that particular aerial and that percent, you know? Crazy up here. Things like that is what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think, um, I think one of the things about that specific point is that game plans are particularly strong and favorable matchups. Oh, so yeah. if you're like, hey, Puff really struggles with this and you play like more disciplined, then um, the feel can actually like really backfire because it's like the Puff player is thinking, wow, they're not doing the unusual annoying things. This is pretty nice. Right. Like we haven't seen that many lasers. I'm say it's just as I say that, a little bit of backing off. Right. Um, we haven't seen any down tilt. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> any jab perhaps <laughs> of up the uh, back air? <laughs> but those kind of things like, you know, as much as I'm joking around, like, you, you need to kind of throw them out. You need to be building up percents. There's very specific thresholds. So I like what your earlier point is, because I completely agree. Yeah. Just like knowing those percents where things are going to KO. Yeah. Ooh, barely not quite. Maybe like that up here in that particular percent position. Uh, a lot of good sharks. Yeah. Oh, there's too many off the top KOs. You gotta, you gotta DI down. Yeah. That's how you get out of it. This is like a, a thing that Kirby Kaze has talked about a lot. Uh, that like you don't, act, it doesn't actually have to be like a mix-up. Yeah, you don't have to know which yeah. side you're faced. You can just hold down, and it'll be fine more often than not. Which is kind of crazy that like that's, we have that kind of situation happening. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. The feel, the feel is coming alive. Yeah. This is where. It all comes together, but that's not what you want. Oh god! Oh god! Don't okay, I, li I like getting the height first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was huge with the pounds. Yeah. Okay. Staying super grounded. Wants access to jab. Oh, this this transformation. Not what you want is puff. No, definitely not. But oh no! I'm, I, I thought I'm smash baby. Okay. I wonder, like, if it was me, I might just like plank a bit to try to like switch the transformation. Oh my god! Oh my god! That would have KO'd without the don't. Are you going to go down there? You're insane. You're so crazy. This is just so There's hard no for way. to do anything, right? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, do not go down there. Yeah. That's not, that's not, that's not the right call. This is what uh, they call the call of the void. You know, it is a human psychological phenomenon. Sometimes where you, you look can't over resist. the ledge and think, I could jump right now. <laughs> you can't resist sometimes. I just cannot resist. Oh, my God. I mean, the Call of the Void in Melee in particular, like the amount of times I have done a Nair at Marth in the corner, is too, too high. Any aerial, any aerial that's, <laughs> there, there you go. Oh my God. The A button, the C stick, <laughs> any of them, it, they both work. <laughs> like, That's so stressful. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Going down there at that juncture of the match is insanity. It's actual insanity. You're at like 130. Yeah, fucking, yeah. <laughs> and you're trying to grab the edge. <laughs> I'm gonna give this up 140. So I'm gonna oh make a dramatic God. prediction and say that we're gonna see Drill from Faust come out even more because this is like where Drill really comes alive with the uh, with the ability to kind of edge cancel. Like the platform set up so many weird uh, drill situations. Right. Oh my God, you actually got that up throw up air. Yeah. That's a very tough up throw up air to get when you're that close to no the No kidding. Like, like that. That's usually where like they try to do like a dash back and even still it's really hard. Right. Okay, okay get the DI. Good shine to get out of the frame. Okay, well, you gotta trade. do that. Get the trade, you get the trade. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the, the, one of the production people and I were talking about, you got you got to punish the rest out of, out of shield. Uh, the up smash out of shield. Oh, yeah, up smash out of shield, yeah. There are certain spacings where it is literally impossible to do those. So uh, one of those one of those weird situations where drift is very hard to calculate. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Good slide off. Great slide off. A, a really important slide off. Okay, up smash. There's the 
with that drill again. Gets the, the edge cancel oh. the drill. Oh, but you need... Oh. oh. I, th I think Puff could have... Puff for sure could have pounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Faust looked at uh, his controller there and went like... Uh-oh. You know? Now it's... Now it's close. It's A couple really of aerials close. and we're back in business. Uh oh. Not a lot. Not let it get to you. Oh. Okay. Oh. So what the <laughs> that tech might have been the only thing that was been able to have been covered at that particular position. Oh I God. love that. Okay, I love okay, that. Okay. I was like, you gotta make a Scurzo think that the ledge is open and then close it. Oh my God! Just don't. That is like the Trojan horse of uh, edge guards, you know, just tricking them, but in the reverse way. Right. Okay. Not a single laser has been hit. There you go. There's the drill. I think grab. That's the thing. I think, I think that like Faust is specifically trying to get under the drill, be dragged down, and then uh, grab. Oh the my god! Jab. That's it. That's did it. The, did the jab phantom? Uh, I'd have to see the replay. Did the jab, I, the Fox's jab phantom? I swear I saw Scurzo jab. Potentially, I mean. That's crazy. What were the percents at that time?